to Noel News. We have urgent matters arising in Nelson in regards to Pix Peanut Butter's decision to go global. The business is looking to expand into overseas markets, having undergone rapid growth since its humble beginnings selling at the Nelson Farmers Market. It has rapidly expanded, shifting operations to a larger factory in Stoke called Pix Peanut Butter World. The space is two times the size of the previous factory, pumping out 20,000 jars of peanut butter daily. However, demand for the peanut butter in overseas markets may have to see this production rise to 50,000 jars, with sales growing 25% in the last year in New Zealand alone. It's now or never for Pix and there is a lot for the company to consider. Let's head to our correspondent in Nelson, who is at Pix Peanut Butter World. Over to you, Rangi. Oh, sorry, Alex. I'm outside Pix Peanut Butter World, and in this building is a meeting between the owner of Pix Peanut Butter and the international research team leader from Australia. They have saturated the New Zealand market and are discussing what's next in Pix Peanut Butter's future. Using the me oh my model as a basis of understanding these complex business discussions, Pix Peanut Butter is at the export level of international operations. However, there's ongoing negotiations to decide whether or not they should take the next step in opening up sales in Australia. So let's take a peek into this open discussion. Now going international is all well and good if you have no consideration for the country of origin. There are key centripetal factors, more commonly known as pull factors, keeping picks in New Zealand. Firstly, as mentioned previously, PIX uses Australian Hyolia nuts. Therefore, they are closely imported goods as the distance between Australia and New Zealand is very small. If we were to transfer productions overseas, then there will be a higher cost importing the goods and if they were to change the nuts to the local produce, then the recipe would change too. For example, Cadbury moving offshore changed the recipe to using palm oil, which harmed their reputation as the palm oil they used was harmful to the rainforest and endangered the species. Pigs do not want to end up in that same position. Alright mate, so why not move to Aussie where the nuts are? You'll be close to the source production, which means the recipe will also stay the same. There are key centrifugal factors pushing companies like Pigs to internationalise. The first of these is that New Zealand is a small country and Pix has saturated the local market. This is a classic case for many small businesses in small countries. Pix are pushed to internationalise in order to enter new capital markets overseas to expand in terms of capital and scale. Pix already had a strong loyal following in New Zealand and expanding will not destroy this. Because this is meaner! Yeah, hard bro. And this is why it's important to stay local because moving offshore diminishes original brand loyalty within the original country. About 52% of New Zealanders prefer to buy New Zealand made products as often as possible, according to a survey conducted by Nelson Brand Origin. This shows that Kiwis are very strong supporters of local brands and startup companies. PIC started NZ from selling it in the farmer's market to having a large factory which people can tour. If they moved overseas, then they wouldn't be known as a local brand. Mmm! Oh, good, my bro. Mm. <laughs> People feel special knowing that they're the only ones that can visit this factory or know that they contributed to the brand's success. Moving production overseas will give them the image of being cheap as moving production overseas is often to cut costs. Staying in Z strengthens their brand loyalty, therefore whenever they introduce a new product they will always have the support from the Kiwis. For example, when Cadbury moved offshore they lost their brand loyalty within NZ but it did lead to overseas exposure in new markets. Finally, it is a massive financial risk expanding overseas and failure to succeed can leave the business in big trouble. So we're way better off staying in Aotearoa with our loyal consumers. But mate, the nuts are already here in Aussie. You're already using your produce so you might as well expand here. So what if you lose a few customers, you're going to gain millions. Furthermore, outsourcing has become a crucial factor in the corporate strategy of many international companies. And PIX should be looking to go that next step to maintain its company's survival and growth. Lastly, Pix is already exporting products through e-commerce, which shows that there is demand for the product from customers overseas. They gain around 15 to 20% of revenue from their exports. So by coming to Aussie, you'll be reducing the length of export routes to these consumers. All in all, you've got to go international and come to Aussie, mate. Oh, okay, so we've just heard what's happened in the Pix peanut butter 
meeting and now I'm going to talk to one of the spokesperson. Mm, well, by the sounds of things, uh, the company should definitely look to go global and expand. Um, currently, they are topping the New Zealand peanut butter um, market and uh, the next step is obviously to go offshore to the uh, global market. Um, obviously, the uh, numerous factors are pushing PIX uh, to officially go global. Um, as the company has already started to export their products overseas. Around the globe, New Zealand is well known for exporting good quality goods like meat, uh, milk and honey. Um, so with Pix the New Zealand brand um, taking on this reputation, uh, with already topping the New Zealand charts in peanut butter, um, sets itself up for nothing but um, success in the global market. Although Pix um, would have to compete with larger and uh, more experienced um, peanut butter companies such as Skippy Peanut Butter and uh, Peter Pan, which operates in the US. Uh, Pix are able to bring their own organic New Zealand product to the table, which history tells us is usually uh, successful. Along with their certain achievements, uh, Pix as a whole will be able to survive, grow um, and adapt as a company to the global market, which will help uh, with the future of the company. The next step for Pix would be to look at offshoring overseas to Australia. Um, if PIX do decide to globalise, they can potentially top global markets uh, with their natural products in the next decade or so. Well, you've heard it right here. Let's go back to Alex at the studio. Well, you have heard it here first. It looks like PIX peanut butter is going global. Thank you and good night. <laughs>